Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Cafe on Tampa Online. I'm uh, Bill Carlson here with um, uh, Andrew Smith, who is um, with Salt Pines, uh, a local retailer, and he's going to talk today about uh, what's happening with retail in um, in Tampa. Andrew, oh, by the way, and um, uh, De La Casa is out today. He sends his regards, and we're meeting in person on Friday morning, assuming that the um, uh, storm doesn't hit too hard. Uh, so we'll plan on seeing you there in person. We're going to continue the online editions on uh, Wednesday afternoons, and then we'll do the in-person ones on Friday. Thanks. Andrew, off to you. Tell us about Salt Pines. Hey, thanks. So um, Salt Pines is a, uh, a local, locally owned, family owned retailer uh, located in High Park Village here in uh, Tampa. Um, we are a apparel and accessories retailer. Um, and we focus on uh, curating products and items that are, uh, you know, uh, inspired by our outdoor lifestyle and active lifestyle here in the Tampa Bay and Florida communities. Um, you know, so we're one of those go-to shops for um, t-shirts, performance button downs, uh, UPF protection, fishing shirts, sunglasses, uh, we do a ton of Yeti sales and we've got some really cool other accessories and gifts like oyster shuckers and non-tipping can coolers. Uh, but that's basically the gist of it. Yeah. And how long have you all been around? Tell us your story. Um, you know, so we launched the company in 2013. Um, we've uh, been in Hyde Park that whole time. Uh, but actually this July, um, we just moved into our uh, third location in Hyde Park, um, which happens to be right next door to the first location we were in. Um, so we moved back behind uh, uh, Bar Taco and Wine Exchange in the little pedestrian walkway in Snow Circle. Um, we're really excited to be back over here again. Um, you know, over the years, uh, you know, we've just continued to uh, focus the business. Um, actually, this year, uh, went back to the wonderful University of Tampa to pursue a master's degree in entrepreneurship, which has been absolutely fantastic. Um, it's coming cool. to I tail I didn't know you were doing that. Awesome. How yeah, much longer yeah. do you have to do that? Uh, uh, we're in the last class right now. So we're wrapping up uh, right, be right before uh, Thanksgiving break here. Um, you know, so it was a great um, opportunity to go back and um, take some time to really work on the business and what scaling in the future will look like versus just working in the business um, and get some feedback from some really amazing professors and, and the business leaders that they have uh, relationships within the community and across the country with as well. Awesome. So you, I'm sure you've been studying marketing and you've been doing it for years anyway in your business. Tell us, um, what, you know, what, what is the reason, what's the point of differentiation for Salt Pines? Like why should somebody go there versus any other store? Um, you know, we've done a really good job of being, uh, you know, curating our products to, to local community focus and, you know, what really works here in Florida. So we're a retailer that you're not going to find a, a whole bunch of heavyweight sweaters in November. Um, we're still be, uh, we'll still have shorts available uh, year round because, you know, there's probably only three days a year in Florida that you can't wear shorts. Um, you know, but just making sure that we're hyper-focused. Um, another differentiator too is we've really been focused over the years on having events in our store um, when that was possible pre-COVID uh, by bringing in local guides and local environmental conservationists to talk about um, relevant issues in our community and what's going on with our natural resources here. Um, you know, making sure that people are educated on um, you know, ways that they can engage in the outdoors and spend time outside. And uh, also, you know, what issues are facing our natural resources and the best ways and ideas to protect them. So you and I both share a common passion for Tampa and for Tampa Bay and for Florida. And you can see it all around the way you all curate the products there. Um, and I don't think you have easy access to all of these because you'd have to walk around, but you have like patches of Florida and and, 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 and the Florida flag. And um, I've got a hat that has the Florida flag that I got from you all. Um, you know, tell us about some of the other stuff that's really unique. And, and not all of it is expensive. I mean, you can get nice clothes and you can get a little patch for just a few dollars, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So we've got anywhere from stickers that range from $3 to, um, you know, button downs and technical wear that, um, you know, performance button down can range anywhere from 115 to $130, depending on the fabric. 
Um, outside of that, um, we work with a really cool company called Two Fish Outfitters. Um, that they're actually out of Charleston, South Carolina, um, but they make kitchen utensils. So they started out making oyster shuckers. Um, you know, it's uh, in my opinion the world's best oyster shucker just because of the agronomic handle handle that it has on it. Um, it does a heck of a job opening up oysters. Um, but that company, for every product that they sell they replant 10 square feet of oyster beds um, across the country. Um, so, you know, when you're looking at water quality in, in our saltwater areas, um, one of the biggest factors, um, you know, in, in the water quality is oyster populations and bivalve populations, because those are the organisms and animals that filter the water and take out the, the impurities and, and make sure that the water's clean for fish and seagrass and everything else. Um, so, you know, they, what they do is absolutely wonderful for our, our natural resources and our saltwater estuaries. Um, you know, and, and for example, um, like popular during the holidays, this is their coastal kitchen collection that they have, you know, and so it's a nice little gift set that they do around the holidays and inside it, you'll have, uh, you know, this is their shrimp tool. So it cleans, deveins, and butterflies the shrimp all in one motion. That's the oyster shucker. And then this is my favorite tool, actually. This is their crab tool. And what's really awesome about that crab tool is the way the blade is designed on it. It's actually the first tool that makes it really clean and easy to get inside stone crabs, which are in season right now and delicious. Awesome. Can you take that into restaurants with you? <laughs> that would <laughs> get the, the Joe Stone Crab or Billy Stone Crab. Um, um, you know, I, I would think that a lot of restaurants would adopt that versus the traditional wooden mallet. Um, but, you know, when it comes down to stone crabs, too, there's a, a couple of really great local captains that, um, you know, they, they do a good job of taking order orders and you're able to go get the stone crabs and, you know, prepare them yourself at your house, which is always a lot of fun, too. Hmm. Okay, I have to get that contact from you too. Um, all right, well, let's segue. Um, you, you know, you are a, uh, I would call a, especially your boutique retailer uh, in, the, in, in, in the center of Hyde Park and you've been around for a long time. By the way, you come to Cafe on Tampa a lot. Thank you for supporting us too. And, um, but, but one of the things that's happened is the internet has come around and um, some of the things you have in there, many of the things you have are, are not really easy to get on the internet. Um, they're, they're quality, they're different. Tell us, um, you know, especially in the context of the master's degree you're getting now, uh, what's it like to be a, a, a retailer um, facing the, all the challenges on the internet? Um, you know, it's something that we've actually been fortunate uh, with for quite a while. Um, you know, what was very, conscientious of how e-commerce and the internet was going to um, affect retail um, over the long term. You know, it's, you've heard people saying for years that, you know, eventually brick and mortar is going to die. And I, I can't uh, even closely agree with that statement. I really think that brick and mortar is going to be around and special to retail is something that's very important for people because people are always going to like to touch and feel and experience products and brands, um, you know, but I think the convenience factor of e-commerce is something that is very relevant. And, um, you know, one of the, one of the management information systems professors up at university of Florida a few years ago did a really, really fantastic research article, um, where they were able to identify something called a halo effect. Um, and the halo effect essentially is when you have a brick and mortar store, in a physical location, um, you're going to see an increase in internet traffic and an increase in your conversions in a certain geography surrounding that brick and mortar location. So whatever that radius is for the business, you know, it could be 15 miles, it could be 25 miles, but that physical presence basically is operating almost like a marketing tool for your website and brand as well. And you um, sell online too, right? I know you you send out emails and tell us about whatever. Do you mainly sell in the store? Or do you sell online too? You know, this year is uh, with everything that's happened, there's certainly been a lot of shift. Um, you know, we, we've seen our store traffic decrease um, due to people doing what they should be and, and sheltering in place. And as we're kind of getting back to a little bit of normal and people are able to come out and wearing masks and being cognizant of that, 
um, you know, we're starting to see the traffic, but definitely we were fortunate that when everything did kind of almost shut down, really, um, we were already in a position to sell online. We were able to continue to engage with our customers. Um, we use a platform called Shopify, um, which is by far one of the best e-commerce and now point of sale platforms uh, uh, available. You know, so it's uh, it's nice because they manage the back end, they manage the servers, the the security on it is is second and none. So we just have to manage our products and, and make sure that we're updating the site. And people can go to your website and sign up for an email list too? Yeah, yeah, it's just saltpines.com. Um, you know, you can jump online. We've, uh, we've got a pop-up window that pops up so people can uh, go to the website and it'll pop up and, and you can sign up there or scroll to the bottom. Uh, but there's multiple ways to sign up for our emails um, or they can give us a call at the store and we'll happily add them. Um, so one of the, so segue to one of the big challenges of 2020 is COVID-19. Um, uh, tell us about that experience. But first, let me ask you, uh, you mentioned masks. Do you sell any specialty masks? Um, not currently, no. We, we've got a batch from Southern Tide that's supposed to be coming in here a little bit later this month. Um, and then the other one that I'm actually really excited to see when it comes in Um I, I understand the importance of masks, but one of the things that I've kind of struggled with is if you wear them for so long, they start to get uncomfortable, especially rubbing behind the ears. Um, so one of the companies that we work with that they traditionally will make sun masks or what they call net gaiters. Uh, it's a company called Buff. Um, they just released a new style of net gaiter that actually has a three tier medical grade filter in the front of it but it's something that you can pull up and that way you don't have just two ropes tugging on your ears. Um, and this should be coming in either towards the end of this week or early next week. Cool. Well, be sure to let us know. We'll post it under the video so everybody can see. Um, so what, so tell us what you've been doing uh, to, to get through COVID-19. What changes have you made? Um, you know, gosh, when, when everything first happened, um, you know, in, in the few weeks that, um, you know, the businesses were, the, the non-essential businesses were shut down. Um, we switched and um, immediately went to doing local deliveries. Um, we still, we, we were still doing shipping. Um, you know, our site is, if you spend over $50, you get free shipping. Um, so a lot of people were taking advantage of that. And we had a lot of people, fortunately, taking advantage of the local delivery. So, you know, people that would have normally come into the store, they'd either give us a call or they'd place their order online and, you know, throughout the day, we'd be dropping packages off at people's doorsteps, um, you know, so that was one of the biggest changes that we made. Um, currently still, um, you know, we're participating in doing um, uh, curbside pickup. Um, so that's that's a program that actually Hyde Park rolled out for all of the retailers here, which is great. There's, um, there's different pickup locations in the village that they've dedicated spots for people to just pull in and when they pull into those spots, they can phone, make a phone call to the retailers that they made the purchase from and say, hey, I'm here to pick up our packages. And I'm in a uh, green parking spot too. And someone takes the bags out to their car and they never have to get out of the car and they're still able to uh, get the shopping done that they need. So um, one of the things I like about your store is that I can walk through and discover things that I wasn't there to buy. So I might end up spending more money than I thought, but I can, I can, it's the discovery of, of, of figuring out what you've curated. Um, how do you do that online? Um, online, you know, we'll, we'll typically, um, you know, new and innovative things to come in. Um, you know, we'll put those on our homepage. Um, one of the things that we did as a pivot um, in April, um, you know, we actually launched a t-shirt of the month club. Um, you know, so it was uh, one of those programs that we were fortunate took off really, really well. But, um, you know, it's we just keep it on our homepage every month and we upload the new designs when we have them available. Um, and then people sign up to that. And every month we're mailing uh, whether they get a short sleeve or long sleeve T-shirt with that limited edition design. And that shirt's only available to members of that club. Tell us, um, I, I know this probably seems obvious to everybody, but can you just tell us, um, it, it's so easy to go to any of the big online retailers 
um, to order, you just hit a button, your, your file's already there, you hit it and, they, and whatever it is, is delivered. What's the, what's the benefit to all of us? What's the benefit to the community of supporting local stores like yours? Um, you know, it's, it's realistically, you know, when you support independent businesses, regardless of whether it's ours or um, other locals like Downtown Dogs that's here in High Park, um, you know, we partner a lot more with local charities and local organizations. Um, you know, we, for example, um, you know, we continually, um, uh, we're, we're helping source uh, silent auction items for the local chapter of Ducks Unlimited right now, um, which is really big into conservation in the state of Florida. Um, we donated uh, trophy prizes for um, the Black Daggers fishing tournament coming up this Saturday. Um, you know, and Black Dagger, they're, they're a huge veteran support organization as well. Um, you know, so they, they, the people that kind of help and stand up for our country and, and, um, you know, ensure our freedoms that we have, um, you know, when they come back and they're circling back to normal, um, uh, civilian life, they, they help that transition and they help a lot with injured veterans as well. Um, you know, so it's, we basically are more conscientious about making sure we're engaged and participating in the local community and giving and, back. And I should say, besides Catholic on Tampa, I know you from many things in the community you've been involved in and that you provided leadership on. And uh, it's great to support somebody who it, it, you know, lends their time and is so passionate about helping our community. So thank you for all of that. Um, so what else about COVID-19? What else have you all had to change? And, and, and now we don't know when the end of it is. So what do you, how do you see the coming months and during a holiday season also? You know, we're starting to see more and more people come out as far as traffic. Um, you know, it's exciting to see people coming back into the store. Um, you know, we are asking and, and actually requiring that everybody that comes into the store is wearing a face mask when they're in the store. Um, we're making sure that we're providing hand sanitizer and making sure that we're cleaning, um, you know, surfaces and making sure that we're keeping up with whatever the latest CDC guidelines are so we can make sure that we're providing a safe environment. Um, the other thing too, that's really interesting is, um, we're seeing this, uh, what I kind of like to call modern day window shopping, you know, our, our local traffic has been spending, um, a lot of time on our website. Um, you know, we've seen an increase in, in, uh, traffic from what I'd say a five mile radius. Um, you know, and, and so people are kind of doing their window shopping and browsing online and the people that are coming into the store, we're not seeing as many, what I would call browsers as we have in the past, but the people that are coming in seem to have an idea of, you know, there's something specific that they're coming in for. And then oftentimes they'll find uh, one or two more items that they, they didn't realize were available. Um, so I, I think there's a lot more um, shopping with intent from consumers at this point. And um, uh, how about, now, so now we're in a hurricane also, it, it seems like challenge after challenge after challenge. <laughs> Um, how's that going? I know you had customers there a few minutes ago. And so mm -hmm. people were coming in in the middle of the, of the, whatever the storm is out there. Um, how, how does that affect you too? Um, well, you know, we did, uh, we did go ahead and close today at four. Um, the shopping center, Hyde Park Village is closed as of right now. Um, we're provisionally planning on staying closed tomorrow, depending on how the weather is. Um, you know, if we get lucky and the storm breaks up and it's just some rain going on, we'll probably go ahead and open the store tomorrow, but it's, it's one of those things that we have to wait and see. Um, we want people to be safe through it. Um, people are still, the, the great thing about our website is it's, it's open 24 seven, you know, you can go online and shop at any time. Um, and then, you know, it ships out as soon as the, the post office is available to, um, you know, it's it actually, it's funny that the customer that came in was uh, actually picking up a, uh, a corporate order for us uh, for, for some Yeti products. Um, so we've been doing, um, we started out um, doing just businesses and we've got it kind of fine tuned at this point to where we're able to personalize the different Yeti products. Um, so like this is one you can see here, it's uh, one of the Rambler 30s. And uh, it's it's a Duracoat on it, and we basically laser engrave names, logos, uh, uh, whatever 
um, people kind of want on those as long as it's uh, not protected by intellectual property rights. Um, you know, and that's something that we do in the store here. And it's, uh, it's a pretty quick turnaround versus if you go someplace else, you might be waiting, um, you know, up to two, three weeks to get those items. Cool. Well, we're almost at the end of our time. Um, it always goes fast. Can you tell us any, anything else that we should know about the store or your business? You know, how we can support you, how we can support other retailers uh, that are local? Um, I, I, you know, the biggest thing and, and the biggest ask for support at this point is just, especially this holiday season, um, you know, be mindful of supporting local businesses. Um, you know, this year has is, is been a challenging year for everybody, um, you know, and there's a lot of local businesses in Hyde Park here. Um, so, you know, if, you, if you've got gifts in mind, you know, please uh, consider coming to see us. Um, we're all doing a great job of making sure that we're um, requiring masks and asking people to use hand sanitizer and making sure that we're providing for a safe experience in our stores. Um, but, you know, a lot of great gift opportunities for this holiday season here in Hyde Park Village. Yeah, I think the main thing we said this a couple times already, but but people, especially the last minute, want to find something that's unique, that's different, and uh, I think that's what your store and a lot of those stores um, do really, really well. Okay, uh, any any final thoughts? Uh, any anything you want to uh, talk about that's coming up? Uh, website? Any any other information? Newsletter? Um, yeah, the biggest thing, it you know, uh, um, you know, check out saltpines.com. Um, again, you know, appreciate it if you follow us on social media too. We're on Instagram, Facebook, uh, uh, you know, those are the two big channels that we use, um, you know, and it's our handles, just salt pines, uh, no spaces, um, you know, and, and uh, I want to thank you uh, for having us on this afternoon. Um, it's a really special treat to get to connect with you and, and all the Cafe Con Tampa participants. Um, you know, we've always thought that you guys are such a great community and, you uh, um, you know, over the years, we've definitely appreciated all y'all support. Yeah, we hope to see you there in person soon when we uh, build up our crowd again. If you, anybody's watching this uh, for the first time, uh, please hit the like button. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. And most importantly, please hit the share button on either one. We do this uh, online interview as a free service to the community to help, um, uh, you know, local organizations uh, like Andrews, but also to, um, to promote issues and and help bring important information to the public. So thank you all for watching and thank you, Andrew, and good luck. Look forward to catching up with you again soon. All right, thanks, Bill, appreciate Take it. Care.